All right, my friends, we are ready. We are ready to rock and roll with lesson one focused on moves and turns. And you're going to be using a little driving base robot that we will use throughout this whole entire unit uh, to learn lots of skills and coding applications and building concepts. And so lesson one is focused on how to have your robot, your driving base robot, do three different types of turns. The standards that are covered are focused primarily at a middle school level, but know that it'd be very easy to uh, revise some of these works and challenges to reach upper elementary as well as scale it up to high school if you needed to explore the standards where we're looking at NGSS or the CSTA. And we have a little bit of common core there with math and literacy as well. We have one objective for this lesson. So our objective is to learn how to control movement a straight move a point turn and a curved move so three different ways to turn your robot and for this lesson you're going to need your robot kit in order to build the drive base you're going to need the software you're going to need the unit within the software which we're going to go show you here in just a second and you're going to need a measuring tape or a yardstick because the challenge asks you to do something in terms of distance and so once you have those things ready let me show you what this looks like in the software and so here we are in the Lego Mindstorms Education EV3 classroom. And when you get to the start page, this is what you're going to see. And you saw some of this already if you viewed the overview of the software. We're going to click here on unit plans. And you're going to see three different units. We are going to be doing the robot trainer. And then all the lessons are down below. Now keep in mind in your exploration, if you want to take a look at teacher resources, you could do that as well. Um, but for now, we're going to stick with lessons. Remember, you're the student, so you're going to put on your student cap, pretend that you are a student going through this work, and then our discussions in Slack will talk about not just your successes, your triumphs, and your obstacles and challenges, but also what this means for you as a teacher teaching this to students. So we are right here with the moves and turns, and you can see that it tells you everything you need there as well, as well as access to the lesson plan. If you want to click on that, we're going to go right here to start. And when we go to start this lesson, here's where we are, okay? We are right here ready to begin the lesson. So when you are ready, let's go ahead and dive in to the first part of this challenge. I'm <laughs> 